I'm the author of a book, The Dumbest Generation, How the Digital Age Stupefies Young Americans and Jeopardizes Our Future, or Don't Trust Anyone Under 30. Uh, the thesis of the book is that digital tools have come into young people's lives in such an avalanche kind of way that they are immersing them in one another. They social network, they blog, they text, they use their cell phones to contact themselves to the point at which teen to teen contact is crowding out the voices of teachers, of parents, of ministers, of other mentors in their lives. And that this pattern is keeping young people locked in youth concerns and that they are not recognizing the adult realities of history, civics, foreign affairs, politics, and the fine arts. 1982, 18 to 24 year olds formed one of the most avid active reading groups in our country. In 2002, they had become the least active avid reading group in our country except for age 75 and older. How can schools and families uh, promote reading uh, and thinking uh, that is uh, of real complexity? It is a matter of impressing upon young people the value of these things. Right now, parents and teachers face a double task. Not only teaching those materials, but passing along the conviction that those materials count. That if you don't read more books, if you don't educate yourself in some of the matters of history and civics and foreign languages and geography and science, then you're not going to be a responsible, mature adult. It is that conviction that is not getting through to the kids, and why should it? They're 15 years old. Why should they care about what happened 2,000 years ago? They care about what happened last week in the lunchroom. 